what is up guys welcome back to yet another episode of flow bin fishing so we are here at the main jetty and i'm with kidnoy right there so earlier around 3 to 4 pm uh we went here at ubin but it was raining quite heavy and current time now is uh, 6 30 and the weather is much better as you guys can see it's already at last light and basically there's not much people at the jetty now and yep all the hikers cyclists are all went back to the mainland current tide condition is quite low so i recall today's tide is actually at one meter lowest at around 8 pm but it looks like it's around 0 0.5 i don't know why it's damn low today so we have some headlines uh, below the jetty so i tried to swing the headline and yeah maybe there are some uh, big fish lurking at the bottom of the jetty i also have one uh, headline right there so they are attached with the bell so in case something uh, strike we will hear the bell and hopefully we can land some good fish so yep we're just gonna stay here at the jetty we have shelter the nearest toilet is just right there and let's see what we can catch here it's high lines Then, nala ba niya? Wala tiyata eh. Wala tiyata nga. Duri. It's a small duri. As you guys can see very tiny dory right here we'll be releasing this fella because it's too small <laughs> bye bye we are currently having dinner and uh, earlier one of the hand line bell actually went off so i tried to set it and the line just bounced so i'm not really sure what fish is that or maybe it's a crab but it's looking quite productive tonight and yep we're just hoping for the best the bait that we are currently uh, using tonight is actually the squids that uh, we caught during all our egging sessions, especially the much smaller ones. We usually use them for bait because they are very very effective. And earlier we actually caught one, uh, one dewey, very small one though. Alright guys, current update. We just caught this barramundi So we didn't hook it or caught it on bait We actually threw a rock on it <laughs> So what happened is that we saw this fella on the shallows So we actually present some of the live baits like the prawn But it's not taking So what we did is Kino went to find a very huge rock And I tried to sniper this fella So I managed to hit it on the head area right here As you can see And yep we caught this fella. It was stunned for a while and now it's quite alive again. First catch of the night. Video, let. Yeah, boy. Video, video, ne. This size Bermondi right there. Look at that. Second of the night. This one caught on light brown. Woohoo!
Car time is uh, 12.10 and we are currently uh, having our midnight snacks. So far, the bite rate has slowed down because it's a changing tide. We are 2 hours away from max high tide and after we have our midnight snack, we'll have the bait change and hopefully to land more fish. Bad news guys, we just discovered that our fish keeper, which is placed right here, was just cut off. I don't know what happened but it was cut off and the fish was gone. So it was very unfortunate but we're just gonna throw this fish keeper, I mean this rope. Disappointing. Ooh. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Duri, duri. <laughs> Kita kena ke kebingan ni, dalam ni ni, marah ya kan? Sipi kan batu. Sulu sulu. Oh damn! Lewat lu maban ya, ya duri lu maban ya. Jauh kan yang rad. Banyak yang lebih panas berada. Isan. Ini ke mana lagi? Uy, duri. Duri. Ketiba na teng tali mo. Tak langgeng pak, tak langgeng, tak tak langgeng yang pada sem. Oh my god. Good fighter. Look at that guys, very good size jahan right there. It's. It's at uh, it's an eight pounder, eight pounder Jahan. All right, guys, a very beautiful eight pounder Jahan. Caught using the fresh sotong. Ooh, the fight was quite intense, guys. And yep, it's very sticky. So, yep, look at that. We just reeled in this rod and look what's on the line. It's a juvenile uh, crimson snapper, if I'm not mistaken. So this uh, baby uh, crimson snapper swallowed the whole uh, squid right here. If this fella uh, doesn't survive, we're just gonna keep it 
instead of uh, letting it go to waste Current update at 3.12 a.m. Me and Kit Noi right here are still fishing. As you guys can see, we are here at the jetty area. And our rods are just sitting right there waiting for a bite. And so far, we actually caught uh, one very small dory. We actually caught a uh, barmandi by throwing a stone at it. <laughs> it got stunned, so we landed it actually caught another barramandi on bait however the fish keeper was cut off for no reason i don't know what happened as well maybe there's a barracuda or maybe there's a, another big fish that pulled the line I'm, I'm not sure what happened but that line is quite strong so the fish was gone and afterwards we landed a very good sized dory at eight pounds just caught another juvenile dory look at that much bigger on the previous small dory that we caught. Look at that, so cute. Currently, it's low tide and the water is actually flowing that way. You guys remember the barmandi that we caught by throwing the stone at it? So yeah, that's the stone guys. So the barmandi was actually like uh, resting on top of this so-called pillar and I threw the stone at it then yep we managed to stun it after getting stunned the Vermandi went to chill right there and I managed to get it so current time now is 7.22 and we decide to slowly pack up because the crowd to Ubin are starting to come in so the traffic for boats is quite a, quite a lot and the disturbance in the water is also quite a lot at this particular section so yep you might be calling it a day around 7.30 and we're just gonna wait for the boat We are currently on the way home and we just ended our session so it was a great night and uh, just the jetty area and we caught a bunch of fish so as you guys can see we look very tired and yep set the bars so see you guys next time